Hi! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be taking you along with a day in my life as an Orthodox Jew. I'm currently filming this outside because it's almost 8 o'clock and everyone else in my house is sleeping and I'm waiting for my friend to pick me up so we can go to Minion together. And I talk really loudly so that's why this is happening outside. Okay, enjoy my day! This morning, I was really hungry before Minion, so I grabbed a granola bar. Hi! <laughs> Good morning! We got to Minion a few minutes late and didn't want to walk through the men's side, so we went around. This is obviously the most important part of Chabad, is a picture of me at the Perm Carnival last year, which is crazy because it was only a week or two before COVID really hit. Okay, good morning. Good morning. This is Danielle. Hi everyone. We went to Minion and then we got coffee. It's kind of, it's our tradition. Yeah, we got the same thing, just mine's a little bigger. Yeah. Okay, have a good day. I had some time before my first class, so while I had breakfast, I learned Chayinu, which I will explain what that is a little bit later in this video. I always make my bed every morning. I just don't feel like I can be productive without a made bed. And fun fact, in middle school, my mom's rule was that if I didn't make my bed, I didn't get a ride to school. Okay, it is currently 9.35, excuse my background. I'm in my closet because again, I'm really loud and most of my house is still sleeping, or at least one of my roommates is in class. So in five minutes, I start Hebrew. On Mondays, I only have one class, which is Hebrew. And then I have a million other things I do on Mondays. Pretty much my days never look the same besides for what classes I have. And even still, that's not the same because not every class I have meets every time it's supposed to. All my classes are on Zoom and some are like a synchronous, asynchronous model. So yeah, this isn't necessarily a normal Monday, but we're going to go with it. On Mondays, I volunteer at a horse therapy barn and basically individuals with special needs get therapy through riding horses and it's really, really cool. Okay, I have just arrived. The indoor arena is behind me. Usually I'm the first one here for about like 30, 45 minutes and then more people come. So I start by grooming the horses, cleaning their stalls, all that good stuff. So now I have to get the their padding for their like, stalls um, into a barrow so that I can, when I clean their stall, I can put fresh bedding for them. Now comes the very glamorous job of cleaning out the stalls, which means shoveling a lot of poop. What are you doing? Are you having fun? Okay, he was just rolling around in it and it was so cute. What are you doing? Hmm? Come and say hi. Hi. Okay, oh, you're fogging up my phone. Okay, I just finished up with the horses and the rest of today is crazy. But now I'm gonna go home, shower really quickly, eat really quickly, and then I have to be on campus. Hi, everyone. Hi. Okay, this is Kaylee. I'm in a vlog. I'm so honored right now. <laughs> She's a senior in high school and she came to Binghamton to visit, but like really to visit me. Basically. But like also to visit the school. A little bit of both. Yeah. What are your thoughts so far? I'm scared to go to college. Well, Binghamton's nice. <laughs> um, we can be in school together for a year. Okay, go off. That'd be so fun. Yeah. Um, I'd make you food. Oh, good. Good. I love cooking. I'd probably take over your kitchen. That's fine. You can make okay. me food. Fine. I make a mean challah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Do you have anything else to say to the vlog? Um, I'm just really honored to be here right now, so I'm a little starstruck right now. 
But I'm sure I'll come up with some words of wisdom or just some words. Not sure how much wisdom will be in them, but soon, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, I've been really bad at filming today. I apologize. Um, basically, I ended up staying at the horses for longer than expected because I got to ride today, which was really exciting. Unfortunately, I don't have videos because me and like the other two people that work there were all riding at the same time. So I didn't get a video. And then I like left there and I had to be on campus half an hour later and then I ran home and I showered and like barely ate. Then my friend Kaylee came and I gave her a campus tour and we went to Chabad and like my house and whatever. So I have been doing a really bad job of vlogging my day, but like this is just kind of how my days are, like really busy. So now I have some time, I'm doing some homework, I'm getting a Chabad cafe for dinner. Every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday night, the Chabad by me um, opens a pizzeria. So I'm getting pizza for dinner, so that's really exciting. And then I have a shear tonight, and my roommate and I are gonna do Just Dance for exercise. And I don't know, I'm sure other things will happen. Basically, filming one day was a fail. I just got really busy and I forgot. So today is Tuesday and it's gonna be day two. It's one day vlog, so I'm gonna take you along my day. I wash my hair. The curls look good because they're wet and they hadn't had the chance to get frizzy yet. Um, this morning I had Hebrew and then I had academic advising. I might be adding an education minor, which is kind of crazy because I never thought I would do that. I'm already double majoring, but one of my majors is like a few to four count towards education minor, so I only have to take two or three extra classes for that, so that's kind of crazy. I have to do research on that. Then I wash my hair, then I have some time before my next class, which is three hours. Usually she lets us out and hour early, which is really nice. It's only one week, so it's kind of give and take. So yes, hopefully day two will be a little bit more interesting than day one. For lunch, I kind of had an interesting combo of fish and cauliflower. It like sort of worked, but sort of didn't. Okay, this is my outfit. I feel like I showed something similar in my, my winter outfit video, but it's just a swing dress from Old Navy and this is also from the Old Navy cardigan. This is three quarter sleeve, but it's like nice out today, but still kind of chilly. So I wanted the extra layer and it looks really cute. And then someone asked me to wear shoes in my videos. So I'm just wearing leggings because I'm so sore from horseback riding and I could not bring myself to wear tights. And then these like black Steve Madden green boots. Oh my goodness, it is so nice outside. I walked out with like a light jacket, like a fall jacket, and then I took it off because it's so nice. I'm a little bit regretting it because it's kind of windy and my hair is still wet, but whatever. I also have a class in an hour. I might just sit outside, like it's so nice. Um, I'm currently going to get Starbucks because number one, it's so nice out and I want to take somewhat of a walk. I'm really sore from horseback riding yesterday. You don't understand. I rode like two or three times a week in high school, so I was so strong. And then yesterday I rode for like 20 minutes and then now it could be a pain for the next few days, but it's so worth it, whatever. Um, so usually when it's nice out, I like go take a walk and listen to a podcast, but today is just not something that can happen. Okay, sorry about the wind. So I'm just walking to the Starbucks that's near me. And also I'm just not feeling productive. So hopefully this will motivate me to finish my chapter of stats that I need to read and take notes on before my three hour class. When the weather night is nice, don't you just feel like you can conquer the world? I was like, yeah, I could do anything. And then I had to sit for a three-hour class. But I got my Starbucks. I picked up a package. Um, it's my Chayinu subscription, which I can explain what that is in just a second. Okay, so what is Chayinu? Glad you asked. It's a weekly subscription um, through Chabad. And it has the weekly Parsha. The weekly Torah portion it has the Haftorah, which is like the prophets based on the on the Torah portion, there is the daily Tanya, the daily Hayom Yom, daily Rambam. These are just things that people very often learn every day. So it has it for the week. So this is the front, it comes in colors. And when they send it to you, it comes in, like they send you for a few weeks at a time. So this is for the two weeks after this week. Um, and just really cool. They have a student subscription, it's like $50, and the regular one is over 100, so it's definitely worth it. Especially the student one, it ends up being less than a dollar every week. It's really great if I have a few minutes, I have time to learn it. And this is what you saw me learning earlier in the video yesterday while I was eating my breakfast. Hi everyone, this is Claire. You've seen her in one of my videos before. We're having a chavruta, it's like a learning 
session between two people. So first we start off with a Mishnah from Tani, which is a part of the Talmud. And then we're learning about Shabbat. Do you wanna say hi? Hi. With Orthodox students of Hillel, we had a virtual paint night, which was really fun. And I don't get the full concept of what we were supposed to paint, but I'm pretty glad with how it turned out. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my day. I tried to make it interesting, but it was way harder for, to film. And I thought I'm finishing up my day with a cup of tea and I'm just gonna watch either YouTube or Netflix, something like that. Maybe do some last minute homework. And yeah, hopefully I'll make more of these or try to at least make them better. And I'll see you soon.